Hey there, this is James with plugin-review.com and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Password Protect WordPress, which does exactly as the name suggests, it offers you password protection on your WordPress website. So this is a very interesting plugin in that the base version of WordPress has password protection for individual posts and this takes it a step further and has a lot of features that could actually be very useful to somebody who is looking for a unique uh, niche thing to fill. So the features are you can password protect unlimited WordPress pages and posts and when we refer to posts and pages it's really any content that you can think of uh, custom posts, normal posts, pages and stuff like that. Individual WooCommerce products um, really anything that is content you can password protect it. You can do multiple passwords per post but you can also protect by user role um, so for example you could have an administrator who's logged in be able to access any content they want uh, compared to somebody who is not logged in who can't access any content they want compared to a customer who could perhaps access specific pages of the site without getting the password protection so you can do uh, the same password for multiple pages and then this is a very interesting feature here quick access links say you have a password protected page that you don't want the user to uh, need to enter a password for or you're sending some email to somebody of a post that is password protected for convenience you can create a quick access link and this is something I see a lot on forums that people are requesting uh, and there are a couple of code workarounds that don't work very well for this and I'll link uh, something that we built with WordPress forms as a paywall mechanism and you'll see that it's very complicated. This plugin removes that complication and makes it very easy to do these type of links. You can also partially protect content with uh, short codes. You can have a master passcode. You can protect the entire website. Um, and there's just a lot of features here that you get access to. Again, this is a pretty niche plugin, but if you have the use for it, um, it could very well be worth it for you. So. Let's take a look at some use cases, then we'll take a look at pricing, then the front end, and then the back end of the plugin. So, first off, the use cases for this plugin are pretty standard. If you need a password to protect something, then you can go ahead and use it. And this will give you a couple articles that say, here's what you could use this for. Um, however, we expect that if you're going to be purchasing this plugin, you should probably have a use case beforehand. And keep in mind that this is a pretty niche thing. Uh, but really the main thing we see using this for and we might actually use this in our own agency is that you can you can restrict things and then send out links to those restricted pages actually foregoing the actual password thing so say I have a proposal that I made a custom blog post for a custom post type for and I'm gonna take that proposal and send it to somebody via email I can easily do that by creating the post, protecting it via a password, and then sending it to our client. And there are a couple other things here too um, that you can see. And if you have the use case for it, it would definitely work very well. Pricing, uh, you have $142 annually. You can install it on three websites uh, and it goes all the way up to 226. So keep in mind that um, this is a fairly expensive plugin, but for the features that come with it, if you have the specific use case in mind for this plugin, this could actually be very helpful. Again, this is a very targeted plugin to a specific group of people, but if you need all of these features here and you need the back end and front end that I'm going to show you in a few seconds, it could be a good, uh, a good idea to use. All right, so let's hop on into the back end of the plugin and show you the settings that you can access. So we have version 1.4.5 installed on our isotropic plugin walk-in website. And we're going to take a look and just go through everything that you can do here. So you can protect specific post types. Uh, so say you want to protect all blog posts, you could do that by just adding all posts here. Uh, you can have an expiration. So when you log in, there's a cookie that keeps you logged in for seven days. You could change that to days, hours, minutes, stuff like that. You can whitelist roles, password protect the child pages if their parent page is password protected. Uh, you can also protect private pages. Then you can also change the actual visibility. Uh, this is specific for RSS feeds and Google uh, crawlbots. 
You can customize the password form, and I'll show you that on the customizer that has been built into WordPress. So under Appearances Customize, that's where you'll find the customization stuff. If you're using caching, you'll need to update your caching configurations, but there's a very, very well uh, written and well featured uh, documentation that comes with this service. And there are a lot of things that it will tell you easily how to do. So uh, caching requires some setup, but you can figure it out. Um, under miscellaneous, you can show an excerpt of the post and you can have a custom form action. So if the password doesn't work, you could redirect somebody to another page, stuff like that. You can set up your short codes here. So partial content protection, uh, that takes all of the settings that you've created in the general, and then you can go ahead and do this. You can also have blocks. Uh, so in Elementor, Beaver Builder, and Gutenberg, you can use the individual block rather than the protected content. And I'm going to show you this content protection feature in a few minutes. Um, you can have your master password set up for the entire website. Uh, and then you can also just password protect site-wide your entire site, which is shown here. So right now we actually set up password protection for the entire site to just show you how it works. Um, so first off, here are your settings for that. Uh, on the customizing backend, it gives you the option to customize this form and it gives you the option to customize the partial forms and stuff like that. So you have a lot of individual things that you can change here. You can really customize the form to match everything that you need it to match. So then if we try to access the website from the front end, uh, we get to our password page and I yeah, that's not the right password, but uh, once you enter the password, you get logged into the site. It's a, kind of like a login system in that uh, you will log in, but there's no user aspect of it unless you add in that user aspect of it. Um, so here's a sample page, and uh, first off, I need to turn password protection off. But here's a sample page, and I want to show you how you can protect uh, this page. So first, let's take a look at this page. Uh, it's just a basic sample page that ships with um, the 2020 version of the WordPress theme. So we are in our sample page, uh, and we have added a short code that says uh, that that has the password protection WordPress short code and additional attributes here. Uh, our password protected content is simply your password protected content. And then we close the short code here. And right now, uh, admins and uh, editors are whitelisted. So because I'm logged in as an administrator to this website, I'm able to view this content. But if we go ahead and make a private tab and then head over to our website from the private tab, we'll be able to see that you can in fact not access that specific content in that category if I can get to my page. So here, you'd need to enter the password that we have set below to access the content. Uh, and as you can see, this inline form is styled to the configuration of the 2020 theme. So it will take the styling that the individual theme has and apply it to the button and apply it to the, the box. And that's pretty nice because you don't need to focus on the styling aspect of things, um, especially if you're not technical. But it also means you can take CSS and style it as you need. And you enter the password, and I don't believe my password is correct. When you enter the correct password, it reloads and it shows you this protected content. And then this protected content will show for seven days or however long we have the cookie set for. Uh, and then it will expire and you'll have to re-enter the password. So this is a very simple plugin uh, that has a lot of features for people looking for this specific password protection functionality that comes with this plugin. Uh, there are a lot of additional little tweaks that you can do, but the main functions behind this plugin are specific password protection of individual content types, um, protecting from individual roles, protecting from the general public and making it so only specific people can access it, uh, and more. It is $147 or $8 per year. Um, very fully featured documentation. 
well-designed backend, well-designed frontend that is easily customizable. And if you have the need for this plugin, we definitely recommend you check it out, passwordprotectwordpress.com. Uh, and you can read our full review by clicking the link in the description of this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video. And like and subscribe because we publish content like this where we look into specific WordPress plugins and give you a complete walkthrough of all of it. Uh, we publish content like this pretty regularly, so like and subscribe and hope this video was helpful for you.